neuro-linguistic programming. At some point in time, you have probably wished that you could change yourself. You may have had a horrible habit that you wanted to be rid of. You may have had a desperate need to improve your own ability to be motivated to keep yourself on track and doing what you need to do. It could be that you are constantly finding yourself in bad situations because you cannot change your way of thinking to get yourself out of it. These habits can all become so deeply ingrained that it is impossible to imagine that you have some sort of way out. It is impossible to imagine a world in which you are able to find a way to escape the problem when that problem is all you have ever known. When your habits are familiar, they are more or less compelling to you. You will not see any sort of alternative because you will not see a way in which you could truly avoid them. There is good news. Just as you can fall into bad habits over time, you can learn new ones. You can learn how to pick up on the way that you tend to interact with the world. You can figure out a way in which you are acting and you can learn to retrain yourself. This is hardly a new concept in the world. It has been seen heavily in all sorts of other contexts. Cognitive behavior therapy, a common form of psychotherapy that is touted for having quick results without much effort, has been lauded in recent years for its ability to engage in what is called cognitive restructuring, a way of literally rewiring the mind. Other therapies have similar concepts as well. NLP has its own principles that is able to use to get a very similar effect. If you have something that you are afraid of, NLP can help you reframe the thoughts surrounding it. If you have a habit that you oftentimes fall into, such as a bad habit that you engage in with other people or how you are constantly able to push them away, there is a great chance that you can change those habits with NLP as well. There are many different methods that you can use that will help you. Whether you have anxiety, depression, anger problems, or some other problem that is underlying everything, NLP works to seek out that problem, identify that problem, and then figure out how to address that problem with ease. It does this to ensure that, at the end of the day, you can defeat your problems. It is designed to give you many different sorts of coping mechanisms that you can use to ensure that, at the end of the day, you are better able to protect yourself and change your mind. It is designed so that at the end of the day, you are better able to ensure that your thought processing is something that is going to benefit you and ensure that you are successful in all of your endeavors. When you become proficient in using NLP, you are able to look at how your brain works and how you can program your brain to work for you. You are able to rewrite your mindset that you have, working with the way that your brain naturally works as opposed to constantly attempting to override it. If you can get these processes just right, you are usually able to ensure that your mind will work better for you. You are usually able to overcome your problems. You usually are able to ensure that you have a mindset of a winner. And this all happens because you understand the language of your mind. Introducing Neuro Linguistic Programming One of the most fundamental components of NLP is the acknowledgement that you are not in control of the world around you. You cannot control whether the car of the person next to you is going to veer suddenly into your lane. You cannot control whether some random person is going to choose to vandalize your home overnight. You cannot control whether your child is going to listen to you and go to bed on time tonight. You cannot control the world around you. In fact, you cannot fully control anything that is external from you. If it is not a part of you or your being, it is not within your complete and utter control. You must be able to accept this fact. You must be willing and able to ensure that you are able to put up with this. You must be able to see that at the end of the day, you must accept that you cannot control everything, but that there are many areas within your life that you are in control of. When you acknowledge what you can control, as opposed to what you cannot, you can change your way of thinking. You can ensure that what you are doing is much better than what it would have been otherwise. You can fix your mindset into something that is easier to control and easier to create the right kinds of behaviors that you are hoping to engage in. When it comes right down to it, if you want to be able to find those mindsets that matter the most to you, you must be able to use your mindset to make it happen. Essentially, the foundation of this concept is that you have thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. 
They are constantly locked together. This is a fundamental principle of many different behavioral therapies that you are likely to find these days, and NLP latches onto it as well. When you make use of these methods for yourself, you are able to begin to control yourself, all thanks to the fact that you understand the intricate workings of the mind. Essentially, any thoughts that you have about something will create feelings. Those feelings influence the way that you behave. And most of the time, those behaviors then work in some way to reinforce the initial thought that you had. They all flow together to create a problem that you will have to tackle to defend yourself and ensure that you will be able to control yourself. NLP makes heavy use of this. You will see that the thoughts that you have are usually spawned by the experiences that you have developed at some point in time or another. It is likely that something that has happened to you has caused you to develop that thought, whether you went through a trauma or whether it was enjoyable. No matter what, however, the end result is the same. You wind up with a thought that underlies everything else. That thought will influence the behaviors that you have when involving that thought. Let's put this into context for a moment. Imagine that you were in a bad car accident with a drunk driver. You were both fine, but you had a lengthy recovery at the hospital and permanently have an injured knee as a result. Your knee will always hurt and there is nothing that you can do about it. Now, as a result of the accident, you have a terrible association with driving. Your mind associates driving with the pain and the fear of the accident. It associates everything with the problem that came after the fact. The year of physical therapy trying to fix your knee, the attempts to recover, the medical bills, and everything else. All of this was highly unpleasant. And even if you are incredibly grateful that you survived, you must also remember that your unconscious mind is not looking at that. You do not see a car and think that you are lucky to be alive. Rather, you look at the driver's seat and imagine the accident. And this sort of trauma happens after accidents or other traumatic accidents. You then get stuck in that sort of negative mindset. You cannot get past those negative beliefs that hold you back. You constantly have those negative thoughts pop up for you each and every time you attempt to live with the situation at hand. Perhaps as soon as you get into a car, you immediately have those thoughts that you had when you were recovering. You cannot help it. It is just the way that your brain has hardwired itself. However, you can learn to control it. NLP recognizes that your thoughts are incredibly powerful. You can tell that thoughts are powerful just by looking at the effect of placebo trials for medicine. Some people who get that placebo medication that is nothing more than a sugar pill report that they did see their symptoms improve. They report that they were better able to control the way that they thought. This effect is common to be found and is so common that when you go into labor or you see someone fighting cancer and getting chemo or radiation, they are told that their positive mindset is crucial. They must believe that it will work and they will get better. They must believe that they can recover and that in recovery, they will be able to thrive. When that happens and when they accept the truth that they are able to survive, they are so much more able to cope. NLP focuses on that principle. It is owned in on making sure that the individual getting treatment is able to create positive, empowering beliefs that underlie everything. When there is a layer of positivity underneath everything, they are much better able to recover. Your positive beliefs that you can create will influence your behavior. If you think that you can actually do something, you are much more likely to do it. You will naturally put your all into it because you believe that it is something that you can do. You will be able to shift your way of thinking like this to ensure that you are better able to cope. You will find that you are better able to control yourself and your mind. You just need to learn how to do that.